Texas Pet of the Week is brought to you by the Houston SPCA, but first, a successful adoption story. After the Houston SPCA animal cruelty team rescued Tessa from a terrible hoarding situation, she went into a foster home where she could recover and get the proper nutrition she needed. Well, her foster mom, Carissa, was enamored by the skittish little Chihuahua pug mix, but continued to show Tessa to some potential adopters at the Houston SPCA. At the time went on, Carissa noticed how well little Tessa got along with her two two large dogs and what joy she brought to their lives. I know what's coming. Know. It wasn't much longer before Tessa became a permanent member of the family. Aww. She just celebrated her second birthday with a special canine cake and even shared some with her furry siblings. So we call that Julie uh, a foster fail, right? <laughs> that is a successful foster fail. A successful yeah. foster, <laughs> foster fail, fail <laughs> which is a good thing. Julie Kenstall, good to see you. Hey. And you've got a brand new kitten today. Yes, this is Lois. All two pounds of her. Oh, she's precious. <laughs> she, her, her brother Clark uh, is still resting at the Houston SPCA, but we have so many litters, unwanted litters, unfortunately. Oh. And so this is a really good time to really talk about the importance of spay and neuter because it's not just with Houston SBCA, it really is everywhere, adoption centers across the country that are impacted yeah. financially, um, as far as getting volunteers. It's Oh, round the she's clock. She's, round, <laughs> she's ready to go. She is ready to go. She uh, came to us um, unwanted and went into foster immediately because wasn't ready for adoption. Mm. But she is ready for adoption. She's 11 weeks now, right? Yes, and two pounds. So all ready to go with the adoption package. Um, she is a little more shy than her brother. So this is Lois. Her brother Clark is very, very outgoing and likes to let every volunteer that comes by lets them know that I'm here and we're here. Awesome. So come play with us. So uh, she's a little more reserved. So if you want a little more laid back kitten. I love her she's coloring. Really she's beautiful. Isn't she gorgeous? Yeah, and she's ready to go home. She is. And you know, again, the, the importance of spay and neuter. I mean, there's lots of responsible pet parents, but we really want to encourage people to help us get the word out. So yes, you spay or neuter your pet. Could you please maybe put a shout out on Facebook or your own personal account and, you know, Make sure you have a talk with your kids and have them go to school and share that if they want to do a project. We um, help a lot of students in schools and a lot of students, college students, elementary school students, they reach out to us and say, hey, can we interview you? Can we like to do a project on how we can help the Houston SBCA? So we're That's always great. welcome, welcome to help. Easy out. ways to help and it doesn't cost a single dime, folks. Uh, thanks so much and all the info is online at HoustonSPCA.org.